Hey there everyone, Atesh here, back again with another video and in this video we are talking about Samsung's new S10 Plus device but in old YouTube style review. So what is this old YouTube style review? Now before we talk about the Samsung S10 device, I know you have watched too many videos online about these reviews, unboxing and everything. But let's step back before going into the review process of this. Now what is the first thing that came to your mind? Obviously, the obvious situation was, hey, Hitesh is getting sponsored by Samsung. Samsung probably has sent a phone to him or probably he's getting some association with the Samsung. Is it a paid review? Is it a biased review? And these questions are totally okay. You have full right to have these questions. The world of internet and these mobile devices are moving towards a, such a situation that now whenever there is a review, there is a thought behind our back that, hey, is it sponsored? Is it biased? How is it associated with that company and all these stuff? Now, this is not something which everybody appreciate on YouTube, but now it's, it's the how the YouTube is shaping up. Now, I used to love the reviews which were made not in such high quality, but actually were pure and honest. Let me give you an example. The very first purchase decision that I made based totally on YouTube was of this, uh, this device here, this boom arm. This particular boom arm, the review of that product was not polished at all. It was not high-end camera quality, shot with RED or Canon 80D and all these amazing cameras. No, it was not like that. It was handheld video by some camera. He didn't even mention that. But his words were totally honest because he bought this gadget with his own money and he was a voice artist. He said that I'm planning to use this device for the next uh, two years or three years, however it is. And I felt so good about it after using it for two, three months that definitely if it breaks up, I'm going to buy the same device again. This is the thing that I love about YouTube, that anybody can come up on the channel and can say words about any product that he has bought and he's using every single day. I prefer those kinds of reviews where people actually buy some devices and then plan to use them for next one year or two year because they have to spend their life, uh, two years of their life with that particular device. Whatever they're gonna say, it means a lot. But things are changing now. Now YouTubers get these devices and all of that from companies. They just unbox it, use it for probably a day or let's just say a week and then just toss them back and they are back to their high-end flagship devices. Now there is nothing wrong with that but I somehow believe that I would trust more on a person who is using some device as a daily driver. For example, it makes much more sense if I just make a review on this big gigantic iMac since I've been using it for the last two years and I have invested my own hard-earned money in that device. Whatever I'm gonna say for this is not gonna be Apple biased because my money is there and I've spent two years of my life with that device. And this is same kind of a review. We are gonna be talking about this device here. I will be spending my next one year or two year uh, with this device. That means I have got this device so that I can spend my entire one year or two year until I plan to change it. And this whole thing actually makes this review a little bit different from all the other reviews that are out on YouTube. Now before we move on to the review part, let me address that. I have been using iPhone for a while and after that I moved into the OnePlus devices, used a couple of them. Recently I switched from OnePlus 6 to the Samsung S10 Plus. Now obviously if you're using a, if you're using a OnePlus device, something like a OnePlus 6 or OnePlus 60, is it worth upgrading to S10 Plus? I don't think so. I didn't really felt much of the difference except in one segment which is camera quality. Obviously it's an expensive device so camera quality is much more amazing but apart from that the user experience and everything I didn't feel that this device is like way faster than OnePlus. It was just okay. Is this device more beautiful than OnePlus? Definitely it is. I absolutely hated that notch in my OnePlus 6 device and definitely this camera cutout thing is far more better as compared to any other device including the iPhone, the bigger one, the uglier one. This device is so beautiful outside and equally ugly inside. Yeah, it is much more uglier than what you imagine inside. The interface is terrifying and the camera icons and all these buttons and icons that they use as a default in Samsung, they are so horrible that some designer, if they see this, they're gonna just say, hey Samsung, 
I can just make over all of your icons for free, even they are so bad. So what I did for escaping this ugliness, I tossed a Nova launcher, just like every other guy on internet. He uses Nova launcher and I uses a Nova launcher too. Tossing that up and changing the icons made device a little bit more bearable. And apart from that, the performance wise, it's pretty amazing. There is no lagging and all these things are pretty amazing. I'm not worried about that, but definitely this UI part, can definitely still can get a makeover there. In case you are worried about the performance part, no, you should not be worried. This is a flagship device. So if you open up tons of emails, Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, and all those amazing stuff, it's not gonna give you any performance issue. This is pretty high end. Battery wise, it's pretty okay. What you expect from a phone, charge it up on the morning, goes through the entire day pretty easily, and even at the nighttime as well. The wireless charging is pretty amazing, but definitely slow. In case you are worried about the fingerprint sensor, it is slow and coming up from OnePlus devices, it seems really, really slow because the OnePlus one is ridiculously fast. So after putting the Nova launcher, the two things that I absolutely love about these, this particular device is first is these amazing wallpapers. And you can see that uh, there is so much creativity in these wallpapers because of these hole punch. And even the single camera one is like way more wallpapers are available as compared to this one. So this is the first thing that I like the most about this phone. The second thing that I like about it is camera quality. I know you have seen many other reviews on the cameras as well and probably MKBHD can do a much better job as compared to me in comparing the cameras. But definitely the camera is way superior than what I was using in OnePlus 6, especially the wide angle one. And you might have seen a lot of photos on my Instagram because I'm super active there. I post a lot of photos and recently have been posting from this device. So yes, camera is way superior. Uh, this is personal thought again. It's not about I'm comparing to any other camera. I feel what I was using. What I don't like about this device is definitely first and foremost the icons. They are ugly, horrible. So again, I just had a software issue with that. So definitely putting up Nova Launcher solved this one for me. Again, if you're worried about the fingerprint sensor, it is slow. It is slow. So let's get on to that. So I'll be sticking with this device for next uh, probably one or two years and in case you want me to just come back and review it again that how's your experience now and in case I get anything which is like worth mentioning I'll make another video that's how the YouTube video should be up if you like it just say it if you don't like it come back and say it again so that's your Samsung S10 plus review in old YouTube style where somebody is stick to that device for longer than a year or probably more that's it for this video. In case you have enjoyed this videos and tons of programming and other stuff on this channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And in case you want to know more about me and just want to get connected as a friendly person, go ahead and join me on Instagram. The link is here and I'm going to surely catch you up in the next video. Mi mano se daña